savvy. Hey, what up, you guys? It's Kiki, back with another dose of reality, served up with a side of sass. Today's topic, airport security. I know I know about as exciting as watching paint dry, right? Wrong, because Kiki's about to spill the tea on all the juicy secrets they don't want you to know. First things first, let's talk about the security line. It's basically a runway for people who forgot how to dress in public. You've got your pajama-clad warriors, your sock and sandal enthusiasts, and don't even get me started on the dude in the Speedo. And the smells? Don't get me started. It's like a perfume factory exploded in a dumpster fire. You've got your duty-free cologne overload mixed with questionable hygiene choices. It's enough to make you want to wear a gas mask. But hey, at least it's good for a laugh, right? And trust me, when you're stuck in that TSA purgatory, you need all the laughs you can get. So buckle up, buttercups, because Kiki's about to break down the airport security game like it's a bad boyfriend. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna cringe, and you might just learn a thing or two. Stay tuned. All right, let's talk strategy. The name of the game in airport security is blending in. Think of it like undercover work, but instead of busting criminals, you're just trying to get to your gate without getting strip searched. First rule, don't be that guy. You know the one, the dude who packs fireworks in his carry-on or forgets he's got a switchblade in his fanny pack. Keep it basic, people. Second, dress the part. And by the part, I mean not like you just rolled out of bed. Leave the pajamas at home, ditch the Crocs, and for the love of all that is holy, put on some pants. Third, act casual. Even if you've got enough contraband in your bag to make Pablo Escobar blush, keep your cool. Channel your inner sloth, move slow, blink less, and for God's sake, don't make eye contact. Remember, the key to a smooth security experience is being forgettable. Be the beige wall of the airport, the silent partner in the travel dance. And whatever you do, don't be the one who inspires Kiki's next rant. Let's be real. The pat-down is the most awkward part of the whole airport security charade. It's like a bad blind date with the government. You know it's going to be uncomfortable. But you gotta go through with it anyway. And the TSA agents? Don't even get me started. They're like the bouncers of the travel world all serious faces and latex gloves. One time, this TSA lady went full-on ninja on me, patting down every inch of my body like she was searching for a lost contact lens. I swear, she even checked my hair for smuggled peanuts. And don't even get me started on the whole random screening thing. Random, my ass. It's like they've got a sixth sense for sniffing out anyone who's ever jaywalked or enjoyed a suspicious-looking brownie. But hey, what can you do? It's all part of the glamorous world of air travel. Just try to see the humor in it, right? And if all else fails, just imagine the TSA agent in a clown suit. It won't make the pat down any less awkward, but hey, at least you'll have a good story to tell. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share. That stuff really helps out the channel. We really need your help in building our community. We release polls at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab a short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for savvy travel gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.